is the kidney stone diet a scam? Let's talk about that. I did see something like that on uh, Reddit one time. Oh, mm -hmm. it's a scam. Well, obviously the person didn't do it, okay? So, but let me just say this, folks. I bring this information to you in a very, Dr. Ko always calls me a street girl. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Dr. Fred Ko from University of Chicago. Yes. And we just celebrated him. 60 years in kidney stone prevention research. He had doctors from all over the country honor him. All of these doctors were like in their 60s and 70s and they he was their mentor. So it, it's just so amazing. All these very fancy doctors came in to honor him. It was such a beautiful occasion. But to honor him and say, you know, without you, without standing on your shoulders, I, you know, I wouldn't be here. So thank you so much. So what I want to say here is, is the diet, uh, kidney stone diet a scam? All the things that Jeff and I talk about here, it's all based upon science. Dr. Fred Coe, he is my mentor, and we spell that C-O-E because so many people think I'm saying Cole. I'm not. It's Co, C-O-E. But if you Google Fred Co and kidney stones, you will find his website at the University of Chicago. And there's, oh my God, there's so I, you'll find me. I, I also uh, publish on his website. But there's so much research. So all the aspects of the kidney stone diet, there's six goals to it. There's hydration, there's salt, there's calcium, there's sugar, there's meat protein, and there is oxalate. And all of those things, we have goals for all of those things based upon decades of research, not from Dr. Coe, but from all the researchers in the kidney stone world. He just talks about them in each article. So all the science is there on how the, these goals of the kidney stone diet will help prevent kidney stones. Is the kidney stone diet a scam? Absolutely not. To crudely put it, would I be able to pay my rent for 30 years talking about kidney stones if it didn't work? Nobody would call me back. And so many of my patients are calling me every single year. I got the follow-up test. I got the follow-up test. Still no stones. If it didn't work, I would not be employed. Well, and there's so many patients. Like, I don't think anyone can actually grasp how many patients you've worked with. No, I don't know. Thousands. Mm -hmm. And it's it, and that isn't just hyperbole either. It is no. literal thousands. Like mm -hmm. I would, I would, I would guess over probably ten thousand at this point. Being I, the, thirty years Cole in, has and, said that too. It has yeah. to be over ten thousand. And people. knowing the volume currently that you're working with, just sort of extrapolating out. Yeah, it, it's a lot of patients and a lot of positive results. A lot. I forget about me paying my rent. There's no way I could feel good about, I'm a nurse. <laughs> I could not feel good if this wasn't helping people. Go on the Facebook page. They'll tell you. Look at the testimonials and the praise on, the, on our website at kidneystonediet.com. Not only does the kidney stone diet lower stone risk, Thousands of my patients, bye-bye hypertension medications, blood pressure medications, bye-bye metformin, bye-bye lots of things as far as their health. They're no longer obese. Is it a miracle? It's not only not a scam, it's a miracle. It's not a miracle. Let me tell you what happened. Susie had the worst pain of her life. Worse than any kind of pregnancy Susie had. She had 17 kids. They were easy compared to passing that tiny little stone. Susie never wants to deal with that pain again. That's why this diet is doable because people's why is so important to them. It's so important to them. It's not about having a fat butt no more. Now they're just like, I'll do anything never to go through that again. I'll do anything. If that old broad tells me to lower my salt and sugar, I'm doing it. I will drink more water. I will, <laughs> people will do anything because they're scared because of what they just went through. So their why 
is now off the chart because they're afraid. And so when we're afraid of something, we prioritize whatever it is so that doesn't come again. So when I talk to people about the kidney stone diet, and honestly, the kidney stone diet is really a set of goals. And so the diet came about, Dr. Kobe and I, we were writing on our website and we had finished the water article, the calcium article, and all the, art and all the goals of the kidney stone diet, although it wasn't called that then. We were just doing separate articles. And he's like, well, we need to put this all together. What should we call it? And I said, why don't we call it the kidney stone diet? And he said, well, it's not really a diet. It's just all this stuff. I said, I, I understand it's not a diet. There, these are a set of goals. But if we call it a diet, people will be more attracted to it. And honestly, I'm just telling you how it can. And that was it. We called it the kidney stone diet. I trademarked it. That was it. Yeah, and that's and the important part is it's, and this is why we appreciate each and every one of you who share this show and share this knowledge with others, because the goal is to help as many people as possible and attract the people who need to understand this. Because like, even as someone, I was in the health and wellness space for a long time, kidney stones never came up, never once. They so don't. this is, this is for everyone. Anyone who's in this world needs to understand these fundamentals. I think it's one in eight people get kidney stones. The funny thing about this is it's not rare. If I say kidney stone, I'm in an Uber. Where are you going? Blah, blah, blah. What do you do for a living? I'm a nurse. I help prevent kidney stones. Oh, kidney stones. My uncle Larry, let me tell you. Everybody knows somebody with a kidney stone. Yet, where the hell is the help? Where's the help? Now, there's starting to be more and more. Because I got a big mouth. People listen. They're starting to be more and more, but it's still not what it should be. And if you go on the internet, there's so much junk on it. You just think you just suck on a lemon and poof, you're never going to make a stone again. It's not true. There's a lot of things entailed here. And so is the kidney stone diet a scam? Absolutely not. It's all entrenched in science, like I said, at Dr. Coe's website at kidneystones.uchicago.edu. And all the science lives there. And so... The best thing about it, like I said before, is once you start paying attention to fluids, getting your calcium needs met, because that's what lowers oxalate, lowering sodium, lowering sugar, lowering the amount of meat you're having. You can still eat meat. I eat meat every day, lunch and dinner, by the way. And taking away spinach and almonds and a couple things. Once you do that, you can lower your risk of kidney stones up to 80%, reduce your rate of kidney stones for the next one. Uh, but some of you may need medications, some of you may, but the diet is always to be done. Because if you don't do the diet, some of those medications, you may have to be in a, on a higher dose. And so the salt, the meat, protein, and the sugar part of the kidney stone diet goals, those are to help lower urine calcium. Also, there's other things and I'm not going to go into it here because we're just talking about, is this a scam? I can't tell you how many people lose weight. They keep it off for the first time in their whole life. A miracle. No, they're watching how much salt and sugar they eat. If you watch how much salt and sugar you eat, and the goals are at kidneystonediet.com, you ain't eating a lot of junk no more. This is what's very common. Jill, I lost weight the first time in my life. I wasn't even thinking about it losing weight. It just fell off. They say it just fell off because I don't want anybody for it to just fall off. I want you to slowly do this because you lose too much muscle if you do it that way. What they mean is I wasn't even care. I wasn't counting calories. I wasn't doing this. I just was worried about my salt and sugar. And when I lowered that so much, I was just eating better. I was eating more fruits and vegetables. I was eating less Cheetos. Maybe I'd have some Cheetos, Jill, but it wasn't half a bag no more because I would have totally overdone my sodium limit for the day, which is 1,500. And I always say 1,500 to 2,000. Why do I say that? Because when I say 1,500, there's always Donnie in the background that says, honey, she said 1,500. I'm going to go down to 400. And Donnie passes out. Okay? Well, that's not what we do. Because typically when healthcare people say to do this, if it's a good thing the lower, people go lower and lower. Eat more almonds, bags of almonds. 
okay? So we've got to be very specific too when we're telling people how to do things. The kidney stone diet is not a scam. It's not a scam. There's no way I could be, Jeff and I could be employed. There's no way that I would have all that praise. What do you think? I'm writing that at 3 a.m., all the praise on my website. Go to the Facebook page. People have stopped making stones for years doing this, but you got to stay on the goals. You got to stay on it. Yeah. And what, you also right? don't have to pay for anything. Uh, everything, <laughs> all of the knowledge is for free on this podcast. It's on the YouTube channel, on social media, on the website at kidneystonediet.com. And if you ever need a little more help, Jill's there. Jill's available for the 24-hour urine collection analysis for private consults. And then we have meal plans and things to help keep you on track. But everything you need to do this is within your power and within your reach without spending a penny. Thank you, Jeff. I love that. So the kidney stone diet is not a scam. When people come to me just to lose weight, guess what I give them? The kidney stone diet goals. Because again, just the calcium goal itself. You guys will build bone back once you start getting your calcium needs met. But until you made a kidney stone, you didn't even know that you had high urine calcium or whatever. So it's not a scam. Yeah. I implore you to try it, especially if you're a kidney stone former. But even if you're not, it's a great healthy diet. Follow it. Absolutely. So again, kidneystonediet.com and we will see you next week. Everybody have a great week.